Mighty Jehovah, Father God, in Jesus' name, thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Your name is great, and you're greatly to be praised. Thank you that you are the God of the universe. You are the God who owns all the earth. The earth is yours and the fullness thereof. The world and all they that dwell therein, the cattle on a thousand hills are yours. The gold is yours, the silver is yours. We are yours, we're the sheep of your pasture. And the people in the world are also subject to you and subject to me and to us, the body of Christ, because we are your kings and priests, we're your rulers. We are your own offspring. We're a little lower than Elohim, Psalm 8 said. Father, we thank you that you're raining fire down upon everyone that has our resources that you've ordained for us. You've already ordained them for us. We thank you, Lord, that every bit of money, resources, real estate, property, vehicles, equipment, people, every situation is in our favor because we command it so. Luke 2.52 said that I grow in stature with you. I have, I, I am more so. And I grow in wisdom and then in favor with God and man. You're favoring us. And we say, Satan, take your hands. We declare this now. Satan, take your hands off of our resources in the name of Jesus. You are subjected to us. You're under our feet. We are above you according to Ephesians 1 and Ephesians 2. We have the victory through Christ Jesus our Lord. Um, John 16.33 says, we are to be of good cheer because you've overcome the world, Lord Jesus. You've overcome it all. You said in Ecclesiastes 2.26 that we are um, to be given the wealth and resources by the sinners. And you give us wisdom, knowledge, and joy because we're yours. And you said in uh, Isaiah 45, 2 and 3 that you give us treasures, even of hidden places. And your favor is paramount in our life because we are yours and you are ours and everything belongs to us that's on the earth we take it by force in jesus name right now matthew eleven twelve. 12 said, the violent take it by force we do that in jesus name he said from john the baptist till now which is now today right here right now and we thank you lord that you give us power to get wealth the wealth, Deuteronomy 8.18. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. And that's us. The blessing of the Lord makes us rich and adds no sorrow. And we thank you, Lord, for favor. Breakthrough right on every side right now. We thank you, Lord, that every resource is ours. And whoever has it or wants to get in the way of it, you're judging them this very hour right now. Let great fear and terror come upon them like it came upon Pharaoh in Egypt when he said, I can't do this anymore. Go ahead, get out of here. And then the children of Israel had a thought from the Lord to take all the wealth of the nation, and they did. And somehow, Lord, you struck the minds. You struck the minds of those Egyptians, and they couldn't resist I command that Red Sea miracle to happen right now in this very hour, right now today, as I'm speaking this right now, your favor and glory, your power, your terror is touching the wicked that they remove themselves and get out of the way of what's ours. Those that think they have a legitimate uh, thing they want to do to stand in the way or to steal or to take or to abuse or take advantage of somebody, including me, including any of us, right now, you're striking them with your terror. 
and they'll back off, just like the dream I commanded from the word when the, when the king had the dream about uh, the sister of, Mo, of Abraham, I believe it was, and said, I, I can't touch this woman, there's something about her. But Abraham had not told him. It was his sister. However you dealt with that, Lord, you dealt with it. When Miriam spoke against Moses, you dealt with her. And she um, got struck with your judgment, and Mo uh, Moses had to pray it off of her. Lord, you're going to act right now against people. I heard this last night, I thought, and somebody was warned, says, if you fool around with this, it'll cost you your life. And they said, are you threatening? No, it's a fact, the person said. Another one said to another person in the same scenario, if you joke around with this, you need to leave this alone. It'll take you out. And I say, so be it. And I was talking about it. I said, if people get hit, by the fire of God and be judged. They're wicked, they deserve it. We don't feel bad about that because God is moving for, on our behalf. And people don't wanna talk about this. You know, they think it's too vicious or too whatever, but that's how, that's how we feel and it's from the mind of the Lord. Look at the scripture from beginning to end, how he, how he endlessly judged the wicked over and over and over. And 1 Corinthians 2.16 says, we have the mind of Christ. And 1 Corinthians 2.9 said, I have not seen, ears not heard, nor is it into the heart of man, the great things that I have prepared for you, those that, that love me. But I'm revealing them by his spirit, by my spirit. I'm revealing them to you by my spirit. And God, 1 Corinthians 2.10, you're doing it right now as I'm speaking this. You're revealing things to you. By my spirit, says the Lord. I'm revealing them to you by my spirit, says the Lord. This is prophecy from God. Lord, I thank you for your help and your favor. Right now, in Jesus' name, you're making everything be loosed unto me right now and unto us right now. In Jesus' name, and the fire of the Holy Ghost, you're causing things to be loosed unto us right now. In Jesus' name, and the fire of the Holy Ghost, Kura Mar Intila Sukotesha, is moving on our behalf right now. This very day, this very hour, this very day, this very hour right now. Devil, you're finished. Any stronghold you've put up, we condemn it. We speak against you. Any limitation, any thief, according to John 10:10, 10, 10, that wants to steal and destroy and cause trouble. You're dead now, you're broken now. Any man, evil man that's in the way of anything will back off in Jesus' name and say, I take my hands away from this. Another scripture, Pontius Pilate washed his hands and he said, the, the blood of this man will not be on me. People, great fear came upon him. He had a dream. The wife and his wife had, a, had a, an encounter. However it worked, God, you got through to them. And I'm saying right now, I'm declaring right now as your prophet, I'm invoking the power of my office, not just speaking as Thomas. I'm invoking the power of my office of the prophet, that you've ordained me in leadership according to Ephesians 4.11. And I'm saying right now, you, God, are moving on my behalf. You said in Psalm 105.13, you permit no man to do them wrong, you reprove kings for their sake. That means even people in government, people situations, they can't stand in the way of our things. We command their hands be broken in Jesus' name off of our stuff, off of our resources. Now, this day, this hour, you're doing this miracle. And like terror came upon, like uh, the, the visitation of God came upon uh, the Pharaoh, the king in the day of Esther, and he promoted her and brought her to himself and gave her the victory against Haman. 
when he was going to hang Mordecai. God, you talk to the king to work that out. Another place in scripture says you put people down and set them up. You put them down. Do it today in this hour right now. Those that are wicked and evil, put them out of business right now. If they have to perish and die, then so be it today, this very hour. But they will not get in the way. They will not play games with our things. No, they will not. You deal with them however you're going to deal with them, Lord. If it's by way of the death, then let it be so right now in this hour. If it's by the way of conviction that they just decide to change their mind and go away, fine. If it's like the thing when the Egyptians just went, they just went insane. They just lost themselves and just ran away. They were arrogant, evil oppressors, and all of a sudden now they're like favoring them leaving and getting, and, and then also taking all the things. Why did they let them do that? They were touched by the power of God. It was divine intervention. It was divine conviction. It was divine terror that came upon them all. And even in times past, when the plagues were coming, he hardened his heart. The Pharaoh, he hardened his heart. But then after a while, after the 10 plagues, he just said, ah, you know, we can't take this anymore. Go. Father, it's not going to be no 10 plagues of a process. It's happening today. The 11th move is today. You probably, I'm sure you've dealt with these people before. But I don't care. That's their own problem. But what we don't have is time. So I'm taking out the equation of time prophetically and saying as your prophet right now. That you are acting on our behalf. Right now. In Jesus name. Devil. Satan. Demons. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you're bound, your powers are destroyed, your operations are destroyed. What evil men want to do is, is, not, is not going to happen. They are going to be destroyed right now in this hour, crushed to nothing. If they strive with us, they'll perish, but we don't have time. We're not even giving them the equation of time, the opportunity to strive another second. They are loosing everything today in this hour right now in Jesus' name. And Father, let your wisdom, your spirit of wisdom, your conviction, your power, your, your brilliance come upon every person that's involved in everything of our business, our resources, everything, and you make it get released to us right now into my hands in Jesus' name today, this very hour, as I speak right now as your prophet. And I thank you, Lord, that it is done in Jesus' name. We're expecting the calls, the release, the transfer, the good news. And whatever, whatever needs to be done for that, whatever needs to be provided for that to become reality in this very hour right now, it is being done by you supernaturally. The battle is yours, not ours. We thank you, Lord. Exodus 14, stand still and see. And then God even says, stretch out your rod. Moses, don't just preach about it. I'm stretching out my rod in the realm of the spirit right now. Me, Thomas Matthew IV, I'm speaking as God's prophet. And I'm stretching out my rod in the spirit and saying, part, Red Sea, part right now. And the wealth is in our hands and we're going across on dry ground. I thank you, Lord, for your touch, your favor, your wisdom, your blessing, your brilliance in us. I thank you, Father, for your favor in these matters and these issues right now. And everything that's ours is ours today in this hour right now in Jesus' name. Put fire and conviction upon everyone that's involved in any of it, anything that's for us. And make them perform for your will right now, right now. Lord, you have the power to do that, and I invoke it by the Holy Ghost. You said, come boldly before the throne of grace in the time of need. I'm doing that right now, and I'm commanding the works of your hands according to Isaiah 45, 11. I command that every man will work right now, every woman, every man, every human, in Jesus' name, for our good and our benefit. Every devil is subject. They will even work for our good. 
Nothing can stand in the way of our blessing that makes us rich and has no sorrow. I thank you, Lord God, Almighty God, that this is done right now in Jesus' name. And there is no other choice that anybody has but to act for my benefit right now. And for your good, your good people's benefits right now. Right now in Jesus' name. I thank you for your touch. Lord, I thank you for your touch, your wisdom, your favor, your knowledge, your understanding, and the total victory that's ours. We personally apply it. Our personal application of victory. A prophetic declaration message right here. I thank you, Lord, for the victory and the breakthrough and all the resources are in our hands right now. You show us what to do with everything we receive. You give us, according to Revelation 5.12, you give us power, riches, wisdom, strength, blessing, glory, and honor for the purpose of taking dominion. And we thank you, Lord, for your brilliance in us. And everything works according to your plan and your favor for our good right now in Jesus' name. Romans 8.28 says, all things work together for our good because we're called according to your purpose. You said you give us power to get wealth in Deuteronomy 8.18 to establish your covenant. You said we seek first the kingdom of God, which we're doing on this fasting and praying and working for you as much as we can every day. We seek first the kingdom of God and your righteousness and all these other things will be added unto us. We're supposed to be diligent, faithful, fruitful, productive. We're doing it. Everything we want to do is for your glory. We thank you, Lord, for your touch, your grace, your gratefulness, your graciousness, our gratefulness to you for your graciousness. We are gracious unto you. No, we are gracious. You are gracious unto us. Lord, Father God, in Jesus' name. You are gracious unto us, and we are grateful unto you for being gracious unto us. We see, we see it right now. We seize it. We see it. We seize it. We take it by force. We thank you, Lord, with the head and not the tail, above only, not beneath. We, we are touched by the overseer, the Lord Jesus Christ, the bishop and overseer of our souls. We thank you, Lord, for your great wisdom that's operating in us. We thank you, Lord, for your great knowledge and understanding that's working in us. We thank you, Lord, that your blessing makes us rich right now with no sorrow. There's no sorrow attached to anything we receive. It's ours and there's no problem with it from anyone or anything or anywhere, at any time, through anyone, for any reason, at any time. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Lord, that we are victorious completely. We apply the victory, our personal application of victory. We, we apply it right now over every scenario, situation, issue, person, and everyone backs out and off of our affairs of business, what we're doing, the proceeds we're to receive. Things that are ours, no one can stand in the way. In Jesus' name, they cannot. Chronicles 20, 20, 2 Chronicles 20, 20 said, Believe his prophet, so shall you prosper. Hosea 12, 13 says, By a prophet they were led out, and they were preserved and blessed and protected, and they flourished by the, by the prophesying of the prophet. Ezra 6, 14 said, they built and prospered. People built and prospered through the prophesying of the prophet. I'm prophesying right now. This is done in Jesus' name. Father, you've done a lot for us over the years, but this thing right now is crucial, and you're going to do this more gloriously than ever, before, anything you've done before. You're on this. I know it like my name is Thomas Manton IV. You're on it. You have to be. We declare it so. We believe by faith. There's no other option or alternative. We have the positive outcome. There's no stories. There's no delays. There's no denials. There's no foolishness. There's nothing going on in the midst of our progress and about our resources. They're coming into our hands right now, this hour, today, in Jesus' mighty name. 
and it is done. It is absolutely done in Jesus' name, and that's it. Completed this hour today as I speak this right now in Jesus' name, and everybody will work. Anybody stubborn, obstinate, evil, they want to play games, they think they have a position of something to take something or to, to block something from coming forth, they cannot. You will break their hands, you'll break their minds. You're doing it right now, Lord. And you'll even kill them if you have to, to get them out of our way once and for all in Jesus' name. And some of them de deserve the judgment if, they, if they've done evil things to others. This is, they, they crossed the wrong bridge this time. They stepped into the wrong property this time. They stepped into the wrong estate this time. They stepped into the wrong office, the office of the prophet. You've encountered it. You're going to encounter it. And God's fury and judgment is coming upon the wicked. Lord, terror is coming on the mind. You're going to give people the words to say, what to do, how to present it. And they're going to totally take our favor. And I command it according to judges as we're on this fast. Started with the morning till evening. Judges 20, 24 to 26. And you said... When they inquired of you what to do, you said, not, not only am I favoring you because you're here with me and praying and worshiping me and fasting and praying and giving and worshiping me, but said, go out against them tomorrow and I'll give them into your hands, which means they all died. And this was an evil brother tribe of the same people in Israel, but God favored the one tribe against the other because they were the ones seeking him. Lord, we're seeking you, we're with you. We belong to you, and God never gave a witness about the others. He never, he never defended them. In fact, he says, I'll turn them, their lives over into your hands, and you kill them instead of them killing you. So anything that's trying to steal, kill, and destroy, as I've been saying, and I say it again, you're destroying them and helping us. You're helping me and honoring me and blessing me and promoting me and exalting me and giving me all these things that, I, that are really mine, that are in the hands of others. Uh, because everything is in the hands of someone else on the earth. You're making the transfer and the transaction happen now, today, in Jesus' name. And nobody will get in our way. Nobody will be able to stop the progress. It's, they're being judged by you, dealt with by you, however it has to happen, Lord. You're doing it by your fire. I see a vision right now of fire falling. Before I started recording this, I felt the presence of the Lord come behind me, like, all around. And, and I just see it right now. The fire of God falling on everybody right now. And we will have every possession that's rightfully ours. I will have every possession that's rightfully mine today. In Jesus' name, it is done. Lord, whatever it takes. As if the age was going to end tomorrow, and we only had today to work, then do it all today. We have to work, Lord. This is our stuff. You see what these people are doing. They can't do that. Make it so in Jesus' name. We turned it into your hands to bring vengeance and to work things brilliantly the way only you can do. We can't do it ourselves. You know, things that are big and they have to transact and finish and change hands and come and do it, and there are people involved and you can't just find them all most time. Yet through others, through their whole web and network of, of things, they want to act stupid, well, they're going to pay the price, but they're going to be broken today and they're going to get out of the way. In Jesus' name. This is serious. This is serious. This is serious. These are serious matters. And Father, every way that you're going to transact the wealth that you promised us to, to us, the, we the wealth you promised to me, to me, it's getting done now in Jesus' name without any delay. Even another day it won't delay. In Jesus' name, I command it so right now. Thank you for your protection upon us. Your angels remaining all around us like our bodyguards, our military secret service, our forces of, of heaven are upon us to protect us. 
Keep us invisible to every fool in this world, every evildoer in this world. They can't know us, they can't see us, they can't contact us, they can't access us, they cannot. Lord, we thank you that every single thing is working for our benefit. Right now, in Jesus' name, and it is done. And all the resources are in our hands right now. We see them already. Mark eleven twenty four. You said... The things we're desiring as we are praying right now, and we are, obviously. You give them to us right now. We receive them right now. We're abiding in you, John 14, 7, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And your words are abiding in us and coming through us. And your scripture, all the scriptures you just gave me, is abiding in us. And I'm speaking it out to command it to perform and produce for us. To produce for me and for us. Now, it's happening. Psalm 107.20, you sent forth your word, word and healed and delivered from destruction. Every destructive force is being broken by this fast, and fasting and prayer time. Every yoke thrown against us, every smoke screen, every oppression, every evil, every occultic activity, every enemy, enemy's forces, any words of men that were wicked, we break them now in Jesus' name. And according to Isaiah 40, 40, 54, 17, according to Isaiah 54, 17, we know that no weapon forms against us. Formed against, we know that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, but every tongue that rises up against us, every thing set against us, every device of the wicked against us is broken. We condemn it and we condemn them, even to the end for them if they want to oppose us. Scripturally, this is the case over and over. Those that wanted to hurt you, you hurt them. The Egyptians first. Haman hung. Korah, who opposed Moses, was swallowed up by the earth. Ananias and Sapphira, who wanted to steal and lie, dropped dead, was struck by God, and died. And Peter had no, you know, Peter didn't cry about it. He said, he told the wife, Sapphira, he said, those that carried your, your, your husband's body away will carry yours now. What tempted you also to lie to the Holy Ghost? She felt dead. He didn't go, oh, you know, God, please, you know. He just let it happen because God was doing it. See, people don't understand this side of God. They don't know. They don't know this. But you need to know. People need to know. Don't play with God. Don't play with his prophet. Don't play with his servant. Don't play with his apostles. Don't play with his things. And, Lord, you're going to reveal to people that are stupid. They carry on their evil. They don't even know who's on the other side of the transaction. You're going to appear to them today in this hour right now and show them that this one, this matter, take your hands off of it and let it go through We can we, and make it go through to us right now. In Jesus' name, right now, right now, right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of the living God, for whom I live and whom I serve. Forever and ever, Lord, you got it. You, you're getting involved in this. Whatever it takes, Lord, you're doing it now. I command it. You said Isaiah forty-five eleven. You command the works of my hand. And Father, we promise to give you all the glory. We promise to do everything according to your ordinance and dictates. Everything that we need to do, that you've shown us. Everything we know from your word on how to live, in and and fulfill your your will and your word in every way, shape, and form. We're going to do it more than ever, more than ever, more and more. Some things we've done, some things we need to work on more. All of us, we thank you that we're going to go full flow for the rest of our days in perfect obedience to you. And you're, you're going to, you're, the results are going to be astounding. Thank you, Lord. You give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. There's seed we need to sow. We need the resources for that. We can't sow it if we don't have it. We can't tithe it if we didn't receive the 100%. We can't give the 10%. We can't bless the world unless we've been made a blessing. You bless Abraham to make him a blessing. You're blessing Thomas Manton IV to make him a blessing. 
can't, can't do it without the resources. These resources are ours, there's no question about it. They're out there, they're in process, but they need to come through right now. In Jesus' name, and it's happening this very hour, this very day that I speak this right now. Shakara Bharata, in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord. Again, for the blessing of the Lord that makes me rich and adds no sorrow, no trouble, no danger, no fear, no strings attached. It's just mine to enjoy. And every opponent and enemy and evildoer is being broken right now, off and out of the way. And if they need to perish, then so be it. If they need conviction to just say, okay, I'm out of this, leave that, leave that alone. Fine, they spared their own life by doing that. But if they want to engage us in any way and act stupid and obstinate and be a crook and a cheater and a liar and, a, and a, trying to use their position as something to stand in the way, God, you're dealing with them right now and they will surely even perish. If it has to be this very day, then let it be done. I say amen to it. You said, you said nothing, nothing will happen unless I reveal my secret to my servant, the prophet. A lion has roared, everyone fears, while well, the lion is the lion of Judah is roaring right now to his lion, Thomas Manton IV. And everything is responding to it now in Jesus' name. Everything in every human situation, natural situations, spiritual situations uh, that are moving on the earth are going in our favor and making everything to happen and come to us right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name. You said you take pleasure in Psalm 35, 27, of the prosperity of your servant. You take pleasure in the prosperity of your servant. I am your servant. Many others that we know and love are your servants. Those that aren't are not in our covenant, not in covenant with us. We don't have anything to do with them. We leave them out there. We, we don't not, we're not even interested in them. But those that are good all over the world, and even those we've yet to meet, how are we going to meet them unless we have the resources to expand everything? And this is, this is so serious right now. It's the most serious thing I've ever seen. Uh, you always provide for me, Lord. You always provide for your people, always. Our provision is taken care of. But this thing, Big provisions, huge things for, the, for your work must come through into our hands right now. And it's ours. It's not from, just from somewhere else. Some is literally ours already. And these transactions need to happen. And others are in process but need to happen. So everything that's in the way is being taken out of the way right now. 3527, the timeline just said what I was saying. And it is done in Jesus' name. Psalm 35, verse 1, I read it last night on the mess, in, the, in the broadcast. He said, those that strive with you, I'll, uh, I'll strive with them. And, and the psalmist prayed and said, those that fight me or oppose me, you oppose them and fight them. You're doing it right now. And everything is for my victory and our victory and the enemy. All of those people that want to do evil, wrong things or to try to stand in the way of us, of our progress or our resources coming through to us or any, in any way, shape, or form, they're being broken to pieces right now in Jesus' name. And Jesus, you said it's better that you fall on the rock and be broken than the rock fall on you and you be crushed to powder. So they have a decision to make. I trust you'll give them, if it's by your mercy, a chance to step out. Say, you know, I'm not going to get in the way of this. Let it go through. Let it happen. Hey, all systems go. Nothing else in the way. Give it to them. Put it through. Then they spare their own life by doing that according to the word of God. And Jesus himself said it. But if the rock falls on them, they'll be crushed to powder. But either way, and I personally don't care because we just need the result. If they're in the way, they're in the way. They did it to themselves. And when God acts, hey, we don't apologize for that. 
They get in the way, they get crushed, we still get our results, regardless of how it happens, whether they back off and put it through and fix it all and straighten it out and get it done, it's good for them. If they don't, Lord, you'll crush them anyway and we'll still get our things. And you'll preserve and protect the lives and well-being of those that are operatives in this thing, in these things for us because they're involved in it and they're instruments to make it happen and get it through to us. Lord, you didn't strike with the plagues all the people that had the wealth of Egypt. They were still alive to take their possessions and gold and silver and treasures and all that and all that it was to actually physically give it with their hands into the hands of the children of Israel as they were leaving Egypt in Exodus 14. And then he said, these Egyptians you see here, you'll see them no more. That's also a promise. These devils that were, were in the midst of this, you'll never see them again. And Lord, I command that to be so too. Some people we never want to see again. You know, anybody that we didn't even know that's evil. We don't, we haven't seen them face to face. We never want to see them. And you promise that you'll never see them. So I invoke that promise too. Right now in Jesus' name. But the people were preserved alive. Now after that, they drowned. Because <laughs> God was judging them. That's another matter. That's another thing. But uh, in the process of time, they were still there to do the transaction. Are you seeing that? I'm seeing it. So Lord, preserve them all. Make them all operate right now and work for us our benefit and our good right now in Jesus mighty name and we say it is done this hour this day right now in Jesus name I am God's servant and God's prophet Thomas Matthew the fourth and I say yes and amen to every word I've said it is absolutely manifesting right now Lord you said this is the season of manifestation this is the season of heavenly visitations we're having it right now and more and more we'll have more and more as we're going and we're focusing totally on the work, but we need the resources and the provisions to do it with. And we have them, we say right now in Jesus' name. Contending for the faith, operating by faith, living by faith, according to Hebrews 10.35 to 38. I'm doing it right now. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen yet. We're seeing them because they're there and they're, they're transacting into our hands right now, this day and hour. In Jesus' mighty name. Coming up to the 40th minute in eight seconds. And the Lord said in Isaiah 40, verse 1, comfort my people. The warfare is ended. Tell her, tell my people the, their warfare is ended. When I first heard that, crossed over the 40th minute right now. I, when I heard that, I was like, really? There's so much warfare. I mean, it's ended? Boy, that's a good promise. That's a great promise, Lord. And I take it right now in this, the warfare that's been wrestling matches over these things for a long time. <laughs> I won't say details of things we've been, it's been a long time, it's been very stressful to deal with these, with these big issues. But now, I say this prophetically, comfort. You're being comforted, my son Thomas, and you're being comforted, my people. Though your warfare is ended, it's over. The blessing of the Lord that makes you rich is here on your table right now, in your accounts, in your hands, in Jesus' name. From today, right now, this day and hour, it is done in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, we celebrate you, we worship you. We give you all the praise. I'm reminded of a a new apostle friend is really one of the greatest men of God alive in our generation. He said, in this season, the most astounding wealth is coming. And beyond what you could even fathom or, or explain, you know, how it came and uh, how big it is. It's coming into the hands of us. Thank you, Lord. If you, you, you count us worthy because we're really yours. We're not saying it with our lips, but our hearts far from you. We're not saying it with our speech, but our hearts are far from you. No, we have a clean heart in us and your Holy Spirit is with us. Isaiah 51, 10, as the psalmist prayed, everybody needs to pray like that. Lord, never let me out of your grasp. I mean, I'm in the palm of your hand. You said you're, you're the apple of my eye. You're in the palm of my hand, and nobody will ever be able to pluck you out of my hand. You're with me. Isaiah 41, as I said in the stadium, in the stadium meeting on New Year's Eve, 
tens of thousands of people there, upwards of 40,000 people, lifting their hands and receiving the word. It was a brilliant thing. It was amazing. A supernatural wonder that I was invited to speak at that event and to deliver the word of the Lord. What a privilege. And, and you brought it to me in the spirit first, put your hand in my hand. I didn't know what I was going to in Isaiah 41. Sure enough, it came when I read it after that, uh, by divine instruction, there it was. Put your right hand, I will take, he said, I will take you by your right hand and walk with you and bless you. Ha ha ha. And I said it in the spirit, but then it got confirmed through the word. All the scriptures that I've said here about uh, visitations of God to reckon with the wicked and move them out of our way. I invoke all of them right now by this declaration prophetically. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord, for your blessings. Thank you for the manifestation of everything we've said. It's happening now, this very day and hour. In Jesus' mighty name, I'm Thomas Manton the fourth. Wow. This is a sign and a wonder, and Lord, we give you all the praise for the result of this happening right now for us, for me, for your good people. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So be it.